Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 26th, 2018. So, my goodness, what a nasty morning we're waking up to this morning. Last night, Amazon, after the bell, Amazon reported earnings. Whoops, I can't type. Amazon reporting reported earnings and look at this ugly ugly decline um, Amazon will be opening about hundred and seventy points lower this morning from where it closed hundred and seventy points per share lower this morning Ugly 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 if you happen to be holding any Amazon <coughs> position um, Nasty nasty sell-off. Let's hope Amazon finds support right in this area and we can kind of hold on to that support um, in here and really start to, um, well, uh, I guess all we can hope for is that we, some cooler heads begin to prevail and we begin to um, hang on to some of these support levels. Right now, obviously, just ugly, ugly down moves. If we take a look at Google, Google also, whoops, Google also having a very bad morning this morning, uh, dropping significantly, wiping out all of yesterday's gains and then some, and obviously that is also affecting the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is going to gap down to about the low of last Thursday. And at least at this point, we have not really failed that low. Now, one thing I want to point out here is if we don't hold on to this price level in here, if we fail below here, drop into this area, notice that the next strong support is significantly lower. Now, there's some choppiness in here. There's some places, some inter intermediate, intermediate levels of support, but we have... Um, some major downside that could occur if some panic takes over here in the market. Let's hope that doesn't occur. Let's hope we, we see a little bit cooler heads this morning prevail after this gap down and we, we start to pick up. Clearly, um, it is ugly. Let's take a look at the Dow. If we take a look at the diamonds, you can see the diamonds gapping down, giving up all of yesterday's move. But so far, so far, holding on to Thursday's low. And that's going to be really important. If we can hold on to these big levels in here, then we have an opportunity maybe to... Um, to move on up, but it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, as you can see, with tremendous volatility. Let's take a look at the SPY. That SPY this morning also giving up all of yesterday's gains and even a little bit more, gapping right down there to Thursday's um, lows. And you can see that if we could hold if there's an opportunity for us to hold down here in this support level, then you know we may just have a chance of bouncing off of that. But also notice that if we drift below, if panic kind of takes over, really the next solid level of support is all the way down here. And notice that all we're doing is, is this cascading sell-off has held on to this downtrend all the way down. And it is possible that that could continue to fall. Now, where's this going to improve? You know, one of the things I always say is just always be really careful trading anything that, uh, trying to trade anything long, I should say, in such a nasty downtrend. Wait until that downtrend breaks. Wait until it proves a support and buyer step in for that higher support. So we've got a lot of work yet to do here, and this is ugly. Now, one thing I want to do is as we head into the weekend, I want to leave you guys with a little bit of a positive note. As, as brutal as this is, and I know there's probably a lot of folks feeling the pain, you know, the Fang, Fang definitely has developed a, a 
cavity. And it is a painful cavity that has spread that pain all over the world. This morning, what you want to focus on, if I, I know some of you are probably going to be staring at some big losses this morning, and um, that's going to be a painful experience for everyone this morning. Um, just realize what I've been saying over the last couple of weeks is that, um, you know, we don't have to trade every day. And, and one of the best things, one of the best courses of action, when we have this kind of tremendous volatility for most traders is to just stand aside. Don't try to fight the market. Let this happen because here's the, here's the positive thing. When this is over, and it will be over at some point in time. There's going to be some great opportunities in the market. There'll be some stocks at you know fire sale prices, really good opportunities that the market is setting up for us now. Now, what we have to do is prevent losing our money during that period of time. And that's where most people struggle. They want to trade every single day. They want to get in there and they want to do battle with the market. When the market is flipping 400 points overnight, that is not a market for most people and a market that will just rip that money right out of your account. And when it does finally settle, you won't be in the position or have the confidence level to be able to trade. So feel free, I mean, stand aside. We don't have to do battle in a market like this. We can stand aside and be a little bit more careful about how we approach that market. Wait, there will be good deals coming. Trust me on that. It happens that way. Every time we see a market sell off like this and those who fight it, those who get in there and decide it's okay to do battle with a 900 pound gorilla, um, you are going to lose. And that's all there is to it. So just let it, let it settle. And pretty soon things will start to improve and we'll be back in the game. So let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, I mentioned yesterday um, during the Right Way Options class that the VIX is in an interesting position here, that it, it really could get a, a spike of panic. And that spike of panic, you can see we had that spike of panic over here in February where we really spiked up high. This morning's sell-off could certainly bring in a little bit of panic. So don't be surprised if there's more selling yet today. And if we could actually move sharply lower yet today, uh, if that panic starts to build. So watch that carefully and closely because... Uh, that could be an ugly, ugly day if that, that occurs here. So stand aside. Don't fight that. Let that occur if that's what's going to occur. You know, next week's a new week. Next month is going to be a new month, and the market will still be here. And if we wait and we're patient and we protect our capital, we'll be better, better able to respond to it and take advantage of those better prices in the, in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 the four week new high new low ratio this is probably the best the best thing that i can say right now for the chances that we will hold support right now we are in this extreme oversold condition however however when stocks are being revalued at such a an, an incredible rate um we we can also see this bottom down here for some period of time. This doesn't necessarily have to bounce straight back up, but we are down in here in this reversal zone area where we could see those bulls step in and say, no, there's already value here in the market. We've sold off enough. There's already value. And we'll see institutions and thing like, um, things like that start to pick this up, pick up stocks and, and start to hold on to those support levels. That's yet to be seen. And so I don't want to step into the fight on that, but just kind of keep in mind that this right here here shows that there may be some hope. If we if we go to T21, 
T2108 is stocks that are holding above their 40 day moving average. And you can see we're reaching, I'm gonna to go to a weekly on this, and you can see there's a, there's a range here as well. When we reach down here into this area, we reach that extreme oversold position in the market. And we could certainly start to see that pick back up right in here relatively soon so a little bit of hope there's a little bit of silver lining to this we may be reaching the end of this move but i have to tell you the volatility of this market is so challenging right now that for most folks the better course of action is just to stand aside protecting your capital so with that everyone let's take a, a quick look here at the economic calendar we have um, kind of a light economic calendar today but we have a big heavyweight um, report coming in with the gdp report expecting the gdp to slip substantially down to around uh 3.3 percent today falling from over 4.2 percent on the last reading so kind of a big move potentially there in the gdp overall gdp not changing all of that much on year over year but um, kind of a, a shocking move uh, maybe today if it comes in like that. Consumer sentiment, however, is expected to stay very, very strong today. So kind of keep an eye on those economic reports that could move us around a little bit this morning. I think everyone will be more focused on this big sell-off uh, than and, and won't be too worried about those earnings report or those reports, but certainly something to pay attention to. Now, also, we have a significant number of companies reporting this morning, about six 67 companies reporting today. So there's quite a little bit of activity in the market, and um, hopefully they will show up and do a little bit better than what we saw um, yesterday afternoon. Um, so far, um, not much has changed because we're, we're just looking so, so ugly here this morning. Not much has really changed. If we take a look um, now next week, we also have big reports coming out next week. Remember, we've got Apple coming out um, here pretty soon. I don't know what the actual date is. Apple comes out on 11 1. Um, so, you know, another one of those FANG stocks to report. Hopefully, they'll show up better um, or, or provide a better number and give us a little bit of levity here in this market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And I want to wish you, uh, you know, an awesome, awesome weekend. And I know this market has probably got you feeling pretty blue this morning. But always remember, there are better days coming. And if we're patient, if we wait, if we calculate carefully our risk, during times like this and do a lot more standing aside, a lot more waiting and uh, for our edge to return, um, we'll be better prepared to trade when this is over. So everyone, take care of yourselves. Have that awesome, awesome weekend. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, hey, if you do me a favor, click on that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment and always, always, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Hey everyone, I'd like to know what your opinion is. Do you think we're going to be bullish from here or bearish from here? Just put that in the comment section. I'd really love to see those comments. Are we going to be bullish from here or bearish from here? It'd be interesting to see what everybody thinks. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Monday morning. Have an awesome, awesome weekend, everyone.